Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Carol and I appreciate you coming here for another wig review. This is by Envy and it is called Dakota in the color Amaretto and Cream. So this wig comes to me via TL Wigs, Tracy Laird, and currently we have a private Facebook group and her website will be done in, well, I think it is done. I think there, she's just learning um, how to use it now and putting, uploading all the pictures and all the info on it. And she showed us a sneak peek of it from the Facebook group and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna let you in on another little secret since the website's not ready right now, join our Facebook group, our private Facebook group, because once the website goes live, she will no longer, Tracy will no longer be able to uh, provide those special discounts and those special prizes and special giveaways. And once the website goes live, that'll be it. No more extra discounts or specials or anything like that. So join our Facebook group. It will be linked in the description box below. Okay, so Envy, Dakota, Amaretto, and Cream. So the color is in the brown collection, and it is a chestnut, chestnut dark brown base with an ash blonde highlights. They say ash blonde. I don't know really. To me, ash blonde is a little more on the cool side, but to me, these look almost golden and we'll go outside in a minute and I'll show you. So you can decide for yourself. I'm just telling you what the website says. But regardless, I love the color and I did not pick out the color myself. Tracy did that for me. And it's a color that I probably would have never picked out for myself, even though I like brunettes. But I don't know. But I love it. I feel like a freaking queen. I feel like one of those movie stars from Dynasty or uh, Knott's Landing or Dallas or something like that. This hair, this wig is amazing. I love it. So it's a, it's a, I guess, a shoulder length wavy bob sexy 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 layers it's just loose curls i mean just a bombshell of a wig and uh, i just feel like a queen i feel like a movie star Ooh. so um the dimensions on it the front is 5.25 the crown is 10 inches and the sides are 875 the back the nape is eight so i'll just show you the inside of it because this is something I learned today and I am going to read it straight from Envy's website so you don't think my wig was too tight or anything like that and not think I'm crazy, but I had never heard this before. This is a welded mono part. So what is a welded mono part? You see how it's kind of shiny right there? I noticed when I got it, it was a kind of a different material. So I looked it up on the Envy website and this is what it says word for word. I wrote it down. And I'm going to read it to you so you don't think I'm crazy. Welded mono part is they are individual strands that are hand tied to a breathable welded mono part, which is a stronger French lace material providing longer lasting durability. So there you have it. I noticed it was a little different than some of the other. You can see how it's kind of shiny and it does feel stronger. That's for sure. So you have these little flower lace ear tabs. There's, it's not velvety. It does have metal stays in it though. And the back does not have an extended lace, an extended nape, which is fine. I kind of like them now without the extended nape because I don't feel like I don't have to keep pulling on it and pulling it down in the back. As you can see, I'm completely bald. I wear nothing under my wigs, nothing. And my, my Gabor Sweet Talk, it does have the extended nape, and I feel like every once in a while, I have to adjust it and pull it down just ever so slightly. And let me tell you, this wig right here, this wig right here is probably one of the most comfortable wigs I've ever put on my head. I don't know if it's the fit, even though it doesn't have all that velvety, you know, bells and whistles, 
This is a comfortable wig. Oh my gosh, it is, I just feel like I'm wearing nothing at all. Um, nothing at all. It's crazy how comfortable this wig is. Uh, my hand tied top Gabor Sweet Talk is comfortable. This is just as comfortable and I'm, it amazes me. It amazes me how comfortable it is. Also, I like the way these strands are. I like how they're not put together. They're just kind of loose because to me this looks, this mimics more realistic hair. Whereas versus, and I have some of these other wigs too, that um, are just so perfect and they're put together perfect and they're smooth and I mean, to me, it is a telltale sign of you're wearing a wig because nobody's hair is that perfect, right? So unless you want people to know you're wearing a wig, I think this is a good realistic wig. Now, I don't care that people know that I wear a wig. I wore a different wig every single day last week. Monday was a different wig. Tuesday was a different wig. Wednesday was, so people at work know that I wear wigs and I don't care that they know. I don't care, but some people, some women don't want you to know and that's fine so I think this is this is one of the most realistic pieces I have ever seen you know and I've had quite a few I like it because it's not perfect uh, to me it's to me I say not perfect it looks realistic whereas you know some of those other wigs are kind of glossy perfect strands put together perfect cut I don't know I just I love this wig it's so real and I feel so beautiful in it. <laughs> All right, let's go outside. Just one more note about the mono part is it's kind of dense. So I would personally myself, I will probably pluck some out. I mean, maybe you could see it out in the natural light. And of course it is a lace front, but I would probably for my own particular preference is that I would probably pluck some of that out because the part is kind of dense and you really can't see it. But that is not a major concern for me right now. I can wear it like this forever and ever. I, I don't even have to pluck it. I might, I might not, I don't know. Because the lace front I think is really good. And mm, I love it. I turned the ring light off so you can see I'm right directly in front of a window. I love this little feathered fringe right here. Oh, it's just, oh, I love this wig. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>